Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jersey Zone. Today I have another unboxing for you guys, and in this box here, it's a jersey that I never thought I was going to get once I knew about the jersey itself. I had like kind of known about this jersey beforehand, but it's one that I never really, I guess, fully paid attention to or fully thought about until fairly recently, like the past couple of months. But once it kind of came more into my field of view, I was like, man, I really want this jersey really badly. I did not think I was ever going to get it, but here it is. So I am very, very excited to get this one here. And before I do go ahead and show you guys what jersey it is, if you're new to the channel and you like hockey jersey content, please make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Oh yeah, I really do like this one a lot. This one is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and show you guys what it is. So three, two, one, and it is the Portland Rosebuds first generation CCM heritage sweater. So not a jersey, it's another one of those heritage sweaters that I have just not been able to stop getting. And this is one that I did not think I was ever gonna get once I kind of, you know, started that addiction of getting all of these sweaters here. This is one of like the really difficult ones to get. It is super hard to find. And when you do find it, it's usually very expensive. I'll be honest, this one was pretty expensive, but I decided to pull the trigger on it anyways. I actually only found out about this listing because someone posted it in the hockey jersey discord. They scouted it and I was at work at the time and I opened up my phone. I saw that and I was like, ah, screw it. I'm just going to get it. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to wait for it because if I wait for it, it's probably going to sell to someone else. And I just want this thing. It's like one of my few chances that I will be able to get this one. So I said, screw it. I bought it. I didn't care about the money at the time. I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was like, I'll figure it out. I just won't eat for the rest of the month. It's fine. Uh, I'm obviously joking about that. But yeah, uh, I, I knew I had to get it. Like once I saw it, I was like, it, it's a must buy. I have to buy it right now because if I think about it for a little bit longer and I kind of go back and forth and then someone else does get it, I'm going to be extremely disappointed in myself. So yeah, I just full sent it and got it and I am happy I did so because yeah, this is just a beautiful looking sweater. Very, very fun. Now, some of you might not actually even know who the Portland Rosebuds are and to be honest, I'm not super familiar with them either. I actually looked them up a little bit uh, just before getting this sweater. Well, uh, before I actually received this sweater uh, after I bought it, I kind of looked them up a little bit more. They were originally a team in the PCHA, so the Pacific Coast Hockey Association, which was a league from like the 1910s until like the early 1920s with the Rosebuds specifically. They were only from 1914 until 1918 in that league and technically they were the first American team to ever appear on the Stanley Cup even though they never won it. So back in the day, the PCHA and the NHA, which is what the NHL was known as at the time, those two leagues played each other for the Stanley Cup and in the 1915-1916 season, the Portland Rosebuds won the PCHA championship, and as I guess they were waiting to play the Stanley Cup, they just engraved their name on it anyways, and they ended up losing that Stanley Cup to the Montreal Canadiens. So they technically never won the Stanley Cup, but they were the first American team to have their name engraved on it. Of course, the next year, the Seattle Metropolitan did end up winning the Stanley Cup, so they were the first official American team to have their name on the cup. I had never heard that before, so when I was reading that, I was like, huh, okay, that's definitely something interesting, but yeah, like I said, they folded in 1918, uh, but they, of course, ended up getting a second team as well in the WHL. Uh, they were only there for one season, 1925 to 1926, and that is when the WHL, obviously not the WHL that we know of, but the WHL way back in the day, they ended up folding in 1926, and so when the league folded, the players on the Rosebuds ended up being sold to an NHL team for $100,000. That NHL team, the Chicago Blackhawks, which is, you know, of course, why I'm wearing the Blackhawks garb so the Portland Rosebuds history is kind of somewhat part of the Blackhawks history in a very kind of loosely way if you want to look at it that way at least I mean obviously there is that connection but yeah in terms of the jersey itself or at least the sweater itself I should say uh, I do like it a lot I love the blue as the main color of the jersey I do like that logo it's not too bad you know you got the Rosebuds you kind of got like the thorns there uh, here at the bottom we do have circa 1926 so that final year that they were a team and then yeah just of course it is fairly basic you know obviously a team from back in the Day. There's nothing crazy going on in terms of the striping and everything like that. It is pretty just standard. As for the size tag itself, of course, that is something that we've talked about with my other first gen CCM heritage sweaters. Usually they just say one size, but every now and again you do get one of these that say large slash extra large, and this one does say that. Uh, it's not really going to show up on camera because my lighting setup, but yeah, this one does say the large slash extra large. So it's possible that this is the gen 1.5 and not just the first gen, but they're basically the exact same thing. As I've said in the previous video, the Gen 1 and the 1.5s are not really all
all that different. Really, the big indicator of it going from a 1.5 to a 2 is the circa 19, you know, whatever at the bottom. That would be completely removed, and that kind of is a big factor in going into that second generation. So it's really the ones that say circa 19, whatever at the bottom that I very much want. Uh, but yeah, overall, definitely happy to have this one in my collection. I obviously, you know, like I said, I was going to get it anyways because it is a first generation uh, CCM Heritage sweater. But I'm glad that I actually researched the team afterwards because finding out all of that information is really, really cool. It's nice to kind of have a little bit of a story to the sweater here. So if, you know, someone comes along and asks me about it, I can actually tell them a little bit about the team itself than just saying, oh, it's the Portland Rosebuds. I guess they were a team from 1926. That's what it says on the sweater here. So I guess that's it. Like that's basically what my knowledge was beforehand. I did actually know that they were sold to the Chicago Blackhawks because of Windy City Hockey. Uh, you know, he's another YouTuber who covers the Chicago Blackhawks. He had told me about it beforehand. So those were the only two things that I knew about the team. So actually researching it, getting that story behind it, getting that history behind it. Yeah, definitely makes me very happy to have this one in my collection. So yeah, this one here is now the fifth first generation CCM Heritage sweater. That I have so five out of 18 still got a long way to go but this one coming so early on this one coming as my fifth one definitely a huge surprise because I, I don't think I talked about how rare this one is like it is really really hard to find I think this might be the only time that I've really seen it I've maybe seen it one or two other times but I don't even know if I've seen those for sale I think I've just seen them around like it is not one that you find very often so the fact that I was able to get it yeah super super stoked I would say that this is one of the top five hardest sweaters to get in that CCM Heritage Collection, maybe even top three, like I'm thinking about it, the Hamilton Tiger Cats, but I have seen that one sold, uh, the Philadelphia Quakers, I've not seen that one sold before, uh, so yeah, it's in between those, there's probably a few others that I'm forgetting at the moment. What I'm trying to say is that it's very difficult to get, that is for sure, and it might be the rarest jersey slash sweater that I have in my collection, like I'm trying to think of any of the other rare ones that I have, and they're probably behind me, like that Tampa Bay Lightning one, and the Fisherman, but it's not like those are like really, really hard to get you can still find them pretty easily really the rarest one behind me actually might be that Newfoundland Growlers one one because the team is folded and two because I think they only sold like 195 of them it was a limited time jersey I guess I can look up to see how many it actually was it looks like I was 80 off because there was 115 made this is number 63 so yeah I would say that at least in terms of that aspect of how many were actually made the Growlers one is the rarest one behind me obviously the rest of the jerseys are a little bit more sought after they're probably a lot more valuable than that Growlers one but it is technically the rarest. I'm trying to think if I have any other jerseys that are kind of on that level, and I probably wouldn't say so outside of this one here. I think this is the rarest jersey that I have in my collection, and I know that it's a sweater, but I still count it as part of my jersey collection, so whether you want to say it's the rarest sweater or the rarest jersey in my collection, it, it's the same thing for me. Kind of doesn't really matter, but yeah, it's just a very interesting sweater, a very cool pickup for myself. All right, so that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about the sweater in the comments down below. Did you know about the Rosebuds before? For this or did you not really hear about them i would love to hear it uh, but yeah that is it for me if you guys like the video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel follow me on all my social medias and i'll see you guys next time bye